marketplace and feel the dreams grow. As soon as it would see my soul, it's really born by the control you I saw an So thank you, thanks a lot for being here. Thank you. At thank the you. Printemps de Bourges, in the black box. Yes. <laughs> First of all, could you tell us uh, where do you come from? We come from all different <laughs> areas. Uh, me, I'm from Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. Chicago too. Ithaca, New York. Okay. And Pennsylvania, but we all live together in Orlando. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope so. To, to work yes. together, yeah, it's yes. better to work together. <laughs> yeah. um, How did your, your band form? You can definitely hit um, I met Swam in Orlando uh, through mutual friends. He had met Alex in, uh, at Alex. college in, yeah. in Chicago. And uh, we met also at one of our shows, Tanya. Um, in Orlando. And we just... It's a long story, but yeah. the, the short of it is that we all just realized that we had something, a connection, so we all decided to do what we're doing now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, how did you come up with, with your name? And, and there's something special. What is intentional uh, when you choose the name of the band so that the initials spell S-O-S? -S. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There was, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of reasons why the name came to be what it is, but um, the, the reason for Soliloquist of Sound is a soliloquist is someone who writes or speaks a soliloquy, mm -hmm. which is, in essence, in a, a play or in theater where the person will um, walk to the front of the stage and start to speak their thoughts aloud so that the audience can know what's going on inside of them. Okay. And essentially, that's what we're doing. We go through our own struggles as individuals, as a group, and, and uh, our own journeys, and we find out information, and we just share what's going on internally with us With everyone else through sound, so exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you're described mm -hmm. as a hip hop, hip hop quartet, but uh, mm -hmm. how would you define uh, your your own sound or your musical? Yeah, uh, we goal? we came up with another name that was called Fahim, which stands for uh, Funk Astro Hip Hop Extraterrestrially <laughs> Energized Message. It's very long. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it was to describe you know everything that was going on because although we are categorized as hip hop. Uh, practitioners like we definitely define our own style within hip hop, you know. Mm -hmm. So we felt it only right to name our own style, you know. Yeah. And there it is. <laughs> How do you work uh, together? Who does what? Uh, what's uh... Well, we're both couples. Like this is my wife, yeah. you know, and they're a couple as well, married as well. Oh, okay. So yeah. yeah, and um, like when we work. Mainly like like Da Vinci, he'll be in his room making beats. Me and Alex, you know, we'll we'll write to the beats as soon as we hear them. Sometimes she'll get an idea and be in the closet in the house, you know, putting the ideas down. Sometimes yeah. I'll go for a walk, you know, and you know, write the lyrics and things like that. And sometimes it's it's just, you know, all together like we'll all come up with something, you know, right then and there. What's cool about what we do is we're able to to do whatever we feel when it comes to how we want to create our sound yeah. so yeah we take walks or be recording in the closet or whatever mm -hmm. we want because we all live together yeah. because we uh, are actually a family instead of just a music group it's it's uh it's more than a band exactly yeah, yeah. Yeah. the music gets to be more than music as well yeah. so uh all, all the music has a much more layered process than mm -hmm. than just a technical process to it you know yeah. Yeah. great <laughs> great great um do you consider yourself more of a No, uh, idealist, idealist, or realist? Mm, nice. We man, we've talked a lot about this. And I, <laughs> yeah. I think, I think definitely we would consider ourselves more idealistic. You know, uh, idealist um, more Maybe, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, only because when we live our lives, we don't want to live our lives under like um, uh, any type of law. You know, that is that will forbid us from doing what it is that we want. You know, like we, we definitely don't go out and harm people or anything like that. Yeah. So, you know, we feel that our ideologies, you know, definitely will blend more with the community. Mm -hmm. You know, possible. exactly. Like our ideal is, our idealism is, is possible. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of both. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is definitely. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. But we had definitely talked like um, prior to this whole thing, like me and Da Vinci, uh, I'm, I'm really into Michelle Foucault. And uh, Michel Foucault talked about three different things. It was uh, interdiction, 
what was it what was it law um that's it, it, that was yeah. interdiction <laughs> and um there was uh the reality of things or realism and then you had your idealism and he would say that a lot of the life that we live is really uh constructed under real realist issues as well as um you know being um interfered by law so if you want to do let's say you want to do something you want to live your life the way you live it well you have to live it under the constructs of law and you know what people deem as being realistic yeah you know so you have great great reference to michel Foucault. yes yes uh, yeah okay yes Uh, so, uh, how do you feel about, uh, about the, the French uh, public's welcome? Oh, <laughs> we love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it special? Or f- yes, the, the, they, yeah, they, f- they for you? embrace us and show their appreciation immediately. So, yeah. it's, it's been awesome. Exactly. Yeah. They're, they're very open. In, uh, in the States, you have to break, break them down. <laughs> there's, there's this, like, no, yeah, like, you know, yeah. so... <laughs> You got to kind of like break them down and it's, then they'll be open up. Yeah, but but over in, in, over here it's 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 oh they're open God. already. Yeah. They already Music. they yeah. already appreciate. Yeah. So open to the arts. Yeah. You know, and being yeah, artistic. Really, so right. yeah, as long as, sweet, as long as you're as long as you're giving energy, you're definitely going to get it back yeah. over here in France. I mean, so. like we're we're driving on the road and in the fields and all of a sudden there's a huge sculpture of yeah. art just yeah. Yeah. on the yeah. side of the road. And you don't see that in the United States. So I think people here are more ready for art i mean even even the even the way that government funds art here yeah, yeah. i mean it, it, that that has a huge part to do with it too the the art in the states is all being funded by independent people mm-hmm. people that uh are artists themselves uh you don't really get help for it so i think it's there's a, a fight always it's always yeah, a fighting yeah. to get that up there yeah but here it's it's like um I've talked to some of the people that we uh, travel with and I tell them about some of the way that things are in the States and they're like, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Like, like, like lighting, for instance, like lighting at a show. It's, it's not, it's not really a concern over there so much. And I told our lighting guy that and he was like, I don't, I don't understand that. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't, it shouldn't. <laughs> so thank you very much. Oh yes. Definitely. And um, yeah. we hope you, uh, a great career in uh, Europe, in France, and uh, yes. we are very happy to have you here. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.